I see a lot of people wondering how we got to this place where the honoring of the feminine way and honoring of the earth is something that needs to be taught. Wondering how something so fundamental as the value of that which gives us life could be forgotten. I think everyone is wanting more connection. Connection to others, connection to ourselves, connection to nature. Healthy sexual expression is fundamental to feeling this connection. All of these different spiritual traditions are saying it as simply as they can in the union of opposites, the yin and yang, Shiva and Shakti, that we come to realize source. Enlightenment has been called an intimacy with all things. But we think well, this can't be about that kind of intimacy. This can't be about sex. We like to separate sexuality from spirituality, this from that, make things complicated, take them as metaphors. We are all taught that our sexual energy is dangerous, too big, that it is necessary to contain it. But that's the nature in us. It's as if we were all taught that it was possible to fit the vast, pristine rainforest ecosystem within into a window box. What do you do when you find yourself in an untouched ecosystem? Do you allow yourself to fall to your knees and become intoxicated by the wild beauty and perfection? Allow it to move through you, heal you, and transform. Our relationship to our sexual energy is not a mirror of our relationship to nature. It's not a mirror of our relationship to our divinity, to God, to Goddess is the divinity. There is no separation. You are a force of nature. You are what makes the flowers bloom. You are that. The journey to remember this is very simple. It just takes willingness to look, willingness to listen, willingness to embody what we see and hear when we're honest about what we most desire. It's a journey of learning the communication skills necessary to have the constructive conversations with others around who we are, what we want and need, and that willingness to let go of realities we've created that don't honor the deeper truths of what we discover about ourselves, and just get really real with who we are, and we become that vulnerable, that naked to our personal truth. And we need not conserve this energy. It is inexhaustible. The withholding of love and intimacy causes so much unnecessary suffering. Our sexual energy, our divine nature, our shakti, our evolutionary creativity. It's all the same thing. So we need not save our sexual energy for sex. We can use it for art, for work, for healing, for birthing new paradigms. We can do that for each other. We can allow ourselves that. <laughs>